Welcome to Tech Tips. Today we'll look at Canva.com. We'll learn how to edit a flyer. Let's get started. Go to Canva.com, type in your account information, and log in. Today we'll create a yard sale flyer. In the search box, type yard sale and hit enter. Templates will load. Check to see whether the template is a free option or it could say paid. Today we'll use a free template. Left click on the template you're interested in using. It will then load in the editing screen. This is the editing area. You can see that as I move my mouse around the screen, a blue box seems to appear around different elements in the flyer. This blue line just shows what object or area you are working on within the flyer. If I click on a text box, a formatting toolbar will appear. Here you can change the font, the font size, the color, and many other options. One thing I'd like to do first is to ungroup any items that are grouped together. If I click on this text box along with this hanger, you can see that both items are grouped together. To ungroup in order to move the text box separately, I'm going to click the ungroup button on the formatting toolbar. Now these items are separate selections. First, let's edit text. I'd like to make the yard sale text slightly bigger. So I'm going to just click on that box and up here on the formatting toolbar, I'm going to click the plus sign. And we're just going to make it slightly larger. I think 260 is good. I want to check that that's, that box and text is still centered on the flyer. So what I'm going to do is left click and drag and you'll see pink guidelines appear on the page. You can see that it's showing that that text is now centered on the flyer. Let's continue editing. I'd like to move the time of the yard sale underneath the title. To do this, I'll need to left click and drag to move items on the flyer. You can do this with all elements, including graphics like the hanger and shapes like these boxes. I'm going to move everything down in order to find space for the time and also the address, which we'll talk about in a minute. First, let's edit the time. Again, to edit text, just simply click in the text box and type the changes you'd like to make. We don't want a 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Let's do 7.30 to 4.30 p.m. That seems, 7 to 4.30 seems like a good time of day. Notice there's a space here and there's not a space here. I need to fix that. So let me add a space back over here. And I think I want to make this text larger as well. Now I've already shown you that you can use the plus sign on the formatting toolbar, but what you can also do is when you hover the mouse over the circle in the corner, you can left click and drag and it will also make the text larger. I think we're going to also add an address here. I'm going to copy and paste using the keyboard shortcuts I used earlier. I usually just select the box and not the text. And then I'm going to edit this text box to show an address. And we'll be back in just a minute. You can see that I've added an address and I've also adapted the um, date as well, but the date doesn't fit with inside this shape behind it. What I can do is make this shape wider by clicking on the box and using these side arrows to make it wider. Now as I'm moving this wider, you can see that the height and width of the box appears, the actual measurement. I think I'd like to make the size of the box match the red shape as well. So let's see how large this shape is. It looks like it's 13 wide by 24.2 high. So let's see if we can make ours 13 wide. It's already the same height. You can tell because they're equal. Let's make this 13. Ooh. 
that's close enough, that's 12.9. So what I can do is now click and drag and move these over so that they're a bit more centered on the page and look better. There we go, now our text fits within the box. We also want it to center it. I don't like, we already have the address here. We're actually going to list the items with, at our yard sale, like clothing, shoes, toys, electronics. We're going to have that text here in the box. Let's delete this hanger. We don't need it right now. To delete an object, simply click on it. You can either use the delete key on your keyboard or you can use a little trash can icon, icon up here. And then now I'm just going to edit text in here. And we've seen that already, so we're gonna move on to something else. When we come back, you'll see that I've got the text all situated and correct for this flyer. Okay, as you can see, I now have the text finished on the flyer. I actually think it looks great. I did click and drag and move some of the text boxes slightly over to get them in the placement I wanted on the flyer itself. I think it's clear what type of sale we're having, where it's located in the time, and the date is very clear. It's definitely eye-catching. Let's talk about changing colors within the flyer. I'm not very fond of this really light gray background. I can change the color of that icon or that element by left-clicking on it. We know it's selected because the four circles appear in the corners. And up here on the formatting toolbar, we now have other options. I can change the color of that, and I'd like to just make it white. I think the red and the navy will stand out really nicely on a white background. You simply just choose the color you're interested. That looks much better. Um, I mean, you can choose anything. Obviously, some of these colors would not look great, but if you're doing something different, definitely use the color options that are available to you. So now we have a white background. Let's talk about uploading a logo to our flyer. Um, let's just say, imagine this was a library book sale and I wanted to include the library logo within the flyer itself. Over here on the left hand side in the sidebar, I'm going to go to the uploads button and I'm going to upload an image from my computer. I simply click on upload media and I'm going to choose device because that means on my computer. Let's go to the pictures folder. And let's do the circle logo. And you'll see the bar is showing its loading progress. So it's done loading. To add it to my flyer, I just simply click on it. And now I can drag it wherever I'd like. Obviously it is too large for this screen. So we're going to make it smaller. I really would like to move it to the side over here and kind of make it a jar. I'm gonna make it slightly crooked by choosing this rotating arrow and I'm going to rotate the image slightly and just make it slightly smaller a little bit. I like it there but I don't really like the colors of it. I'd like to match the colors of this logo to the theme of my flyer. When I click on this image that I've inserted we now have a new formatting toolbar that you can use. You can crop images, you can flip them, you can adjust them um, I'm going to use, I think, an effect. Let's look at the different effect options. So what's great about Canva, all of these different effects, it will show you what your image would look like if you chose to use it. And I think I like this duotone image options. And you can just try different things. Um, obviously, I'm going to stick with our color scheme. I like that cherry color, so that's what I'm going to use. It's still readable, Northwest Regional Library System. But that's how you upload a logo. Okay, for our final tip today, let's look to see how we upload a graphic. It's very similar to adding um, an image or a picture or a logo from the computer, except you don't have to upload it. Canva has a lot of photo options available to you over here on the sidebar, and also elements, which includes clip art. So maybe I wanna use that hanger image from earlier. All I have to do in the search box is type what I'm looking for, and hit enter. So now I have some options here. Let's try this one. All you have to do is left click on it. It will insert onto the flyer, and you can change the color of the image. Let's make it navy. Another thing about Canva, it gives you your document colors here in a list, which makes it easy to change the color of items. 
and then I'm just going to resize it a little bit and let's see this is only if you want to add other images you don't have to personally I probably would leave off a graphic but now you know how to add one again elements gives you lots of options like clip art shapes photo frames there's all kinds of stuff you can use um, but to put it into your flyer you simply left click on it and our final step today is printing if you choose the print option that's going to have you printing using canva services which costs money what you can do is download it to your device or computer um, and i usually leave it on the suggested print option and i can just download it it will show you its download progress and it will also most of the time ask you if you want to open it we're going to click yes we want to open it and now I can print it to the attached printer on my computer. Thanks for joining us. Go to the library website nwrls.com for more information about upcoming events. Have a great day.